There's usually a time when you guys get to come into the building and meet all the teachers. Um, but uh, I'd like to share a little bit about myself and then certainly give you the information you need to be able to uh, kind of figure out what your son or daughter is doing in my class, um, as well as a little bit about myself. Now, this is my 20th year as teaching. Um, I did open Bradley, I believe, 13 years ago. I teach geometry, AP physics, and AP calculus. Um, pictured here are my three kids. Um, my oldest is a seventh grader, and the twin boy girls are sixth graders, and my wife is a second grade teacher um, at uh, Beacon Elementary. Probably the most important thing for you and your child is to understand is that everything that we do um, is on Canvas. So it doesn't matter whether it's the calculus course, double block physics course, single block physics course, or geometry. All my courses run very similar. So you could really, um, it wouldn't matter, you know, which one of my students you are. Um, let's click on the calculus one. If you click on the calculus canvas course, you're going to go into the modules and everything is there for you. So if you're interested in kind of the, some general information about my class, you could click on the syllabus class information and you could read through those about expectations, assignments, grades, certainly how to contact me. Um, you know, the best way for your students to contact me is just to talk to me before or after class. Um, or even during class. You can use my email. Um, Hilliard email is always the same. It's your first name underscore last name at hboe.org. You can always send me a Canvas message too, um, and you can always set up a meeting before or after school. Um, so there is um, syllabus and class information. There's maybe a course summary there. This is the PDF of the Calc book. But generally speaking, this is what you're going to see when you look at every one of the Canvas courses. Every one of these units there's already going to be published for you. Um, these are just me. I'm just not I'm, uh, taking away the expansion of them. Um, and so for a calculus, you can see the entire year at a glance here. So here's just the first semester. So there are seven units in the first semester. Each of the one of them is a certain number of days. And if you click uh, where we're at right now, we're actually in the integral unit. Uh, every day there's an assignment. There's some videos. There's a worksheet. And then there's a key. So day 15. There's a definite integrals video, that's the topic. There's a multiple choice integral review sheet from the AP that we would do, and then there's a, re, uh, there's a key. Um, so like, uh, I think today we're actually right here. So if you clicked on this link, it would take you to, um, not YouTube, but a YouTube video um, that I have made. Uh, if we click on it, okay, that one is 12 minutes long. So the kids, if they wanted to, they could watch that before class. They could watch it. Um, after class or they could save it for the review. Totally up to them. Um, again, that's an embedded YouTube video, so they're not actually going YouTube. They can watch that at school. Um, they can watch it at home whenever they need to. So that particular day had a video that went with it. Um, and then if you clicked on the actual worksheet that would go with it, that's going to take them to a PDF and they would download that and they would use it in Notability. And again, this would be an example. Uh, obviously, we're working on integrals and partial fractions. Um, and so there's some multiple choice questions and there's some free response questions. And then for that particular day, if you looked on partial fractions number one, you could then click on the key. So Canvas will jump back there for a second. All right, so we are back there. We go partial fractions. We were day one. We could click on the key and it would take us to the actual solution guide. Again, this is me handwriting out exactly what you should do giving notes, sometimes handwritten um, suggestions on, you know, what I did, you know, let x equal 1, and I could get this result, let x equal negative 1, I get this result, and then I, they can check the answer. So again, it doesn't matter what course you're in or what unit you're in, that's pretty much what your student has on a daily basis. They're going to have a video to help them, they're going to have a, a worksheet or, you know, in-class assignment that they typically don't get done in class that they then do for homework, and then there's a key that they can check. And then at the end of the unit, so once we get through enough days, it's going to say Unit 2 Homework Submission, and this is what they're going to submit. They're going to take all of those PDFs and uh, use Notability. It's, it's very easy to put it into one PDF in the order uh, with all the homework completed and checked, and then they're going to submit it. So homework is a part of uh, each one of my class's grades, and they're going to uh, do the homework throughout the unit. They're going to submit it at the very end of the unit. And that will help them prepare for the test. And then we take a test. Each unit has its own test. Um, along the way, obviously, they're practicing and they're reviewing. Um, but again, that's um, it doesn't really matter what unit you pick. You can pick any one of these units. You're going to have the exact same type of experience. 
right? There's a summary, there's the assignment, there's some videos, there's some um, internet um, links that I thought would be helpful. Um, then there's the PDF, that's the assignment, there's the key. Um, there's some multiple choice, there's the key. There's some free response, there's the key. You know, for AP, you're gonna see some more multiple choice and some free response. That's what the College Board provides. In a geometry class, you'd see something different. But again, it really wouldn't matter what course you're in, whether it's AP Physics or AP Calculus or even Geometry. Everything is very similar in terms of there's class information and here's the Geometry um, one. And this is where we're at right now. We're in uh, Reasoning and Proofs. So you're going to have a, a video, a worksheet, uh, and in this case we're going to have a logic puzzle because that's really the assignment of the day. But again, you can see the same thing. Video, segment proofs, um, and then a segment proof key, and then maybe a puzzle. So. Um, hopefully this gives you a good idea of the resources you have on Canvas. Um, and at the end of a, end of a unit, again, we're going to have um, review, review videos, review assignments, um, things like that. Yeah, unit 2, review keys, good, again, good test preps. But those are the resources your kids have. Um, I'm certainly available. Uh, my schedule is that I have conference first period, and then I go geometry, uh, calculus, lunch, and then I am in the JAG room, which is a tutor room. Uh, it's next to the library. All the kids should know where it's at at this point. There is a math teacher in there every period. I happen to be in there fifth period. Uh, and then I teach AP Physics 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, after school, I, I am the JV tennis coach in the fall for the girls and in the spring for the boys, and I certainly enjoy that a lot. And in the winter, I'll actually coach um, seventh grade basketball for Heritage. So... Um, Hopefully that's uh, enough information to kind of get you guys started. Feel free at any point to contact me. Um, obviously, as a parent, you're probably going to contact me through email. Uh, and if you have a question that you, you want to actually talk on the phone about what's easier, well, then just send me an email and, and give me a good number and a good time to call you. Um, or we can exchange information and we can uh, just set up a, a meeting at some point. But uh, almost everything you need uh, and your, your child needs is going to be on Canvas. And that's probably true for almost all your teachers. Um, you can log in uh, as an observer uh, with a, your parent account, or you can just uh, ask your student to kind of check out everything. But again, all those resources are there for you. Hopefully this uh, helped you out. If Again, um, if you, if you want to set up a time uh, to talk on the phone or set a, uh, send me an email, feel free. Otherwise, uh, we're off to a great start this year. And um, you know, let me know if, uh, if you guys need anything.